Alright, quick update on SLP before I hop into the last video of the day, Bitcoin. Uh, so, so far, I mean, we are still in this bull flag that we outlined in the previous video. You can see that we get this price target up here if we just take the poll. So I don't want to make this a super long video because, I mean, we are just kind of stuck in this bull flag right now. There's, you know, really nothing crazy to go on about. So I will just list the current analysis that I see. Uh, we are above this micro high. Uh, we have just broken slightly below this micro uh this previous micro high as well uh but all in all i wouldn't be too too worried about breaking down i would like to see uh, potentially a back test of the 215 uh, i have outlined this in previous videos uh, anywhere between 215 and 210 i believe 210 is you know m closer to the max pain threshold i believe uh, that we would need to stay above uh, for us to remain bullish so uh, while we are still above 210, we are still in this very nice bull flag. So uh, I would mainly discount these two highs while we are in this flag. Obviously, if we do lose this um, this 210 here, uh, this would mean that, you know, we're kind of falling out of the bull flag. We would have lost the 618 at this point, and we would have lost the previous micro high. Obviously, bearing in mind, we would have lost this micro high as well. So uh, at that point, if we did lose 210, I would personally be running for the hills. Um, I don't I don't even know if you can find a, a website that, you know, allows you to short this coin. I've, I've never looked into it, uh, but maybe I will have to because I would be interested in specifically taking out a long if we do do uh, this situation that I will mark in green. Uh, so for me to get overly bullish, I would like to see us break out of this channel come back back test the channel have some strong volume coming in and then turn up uh simply because you know if if the vol the volume is currently downtrending right now so uh there's you know not too many sellers uh, not too many buyers stepping in the market right now it is very neutral um and i say neutral because obviously we are in this bullish uh pattern in the micro term but if we do just zoom out quickly you can see uh, that we're nowhere even near um you know the 200 day moving average this this downtrending line is really just um really just like kind of a joke i mean there is not really any touch points on it but um but yeah i mean there is no no real trend li trend line that will define this market i don't even know why that's on there because it's got one touch point but uh what i want to point out to is the 200 day moving average that would be coming in at uh, around about six seven cents uh obviously that would be a 140 percent pump which is absolutely crazy compared to axi um which would only have a 45 percent pump so in the video i just made for axi i did say that you know i believe slp has higher risk adjusted returns so if i was investing personally in either axi or slp i would wait for a breakout on slp and then i would long simply because i mean what if it goes up 10 20 percent from now and you're only able to make what 120 percent gain like you know boohoo at least you know that it's going to be going up and you've got basically a 2x on your hands so uh that's what i'm looking for on the daily uh like i said really not too much going on the rsi is kind of just hanging out on these super high levels you know we are kind of staircasing down a little bit but you know, it, it is normal for the RSI to trend down a tiny, tiny bit while we are in a pattern. So I would wait for a break of this uh, bull flag before we make any decisions. Now, if we come over to the weekly, uh, you can see a decent amount of selling volume is stepping in. So I would really want to see uh, more buyers stepping into this market by the end of this week. Obviously, we will have a decision on this bull flag at latest, I'd say, in the next two or three days i'd say by the 19th of february which is three days away uh we will have either decided if we are breaking out of the top of this or if we're breaking out below now we can still kind of staircase sideways something like this before back testing 210 which is why you know 210 is is really the most important level that i see uh i said 215 in my previous videos but you know after looking a little bit more carefully on the 618 i can see that it is between 210 and 215 so the 215 links to this high uh two, 210 links to the 618 but obviously you know such a minute difference no one really cares uh, if we do come over to the weekly and the monthly to finish it off i would like to check out the high kanashi candles and see if they are still red um 
Uh, we have had two green candles come in, a strong bit of volume coming in. So, you know, the Hayakan Ashis are kind of saying, you know, the downtrend may be subsiding in the short term and we may be starting to head up to this pump, which is, you know, all the way up here at 140%. So that would be, you know, really, really nice if we are, if we were able to do that. Also, the, the Hayakan Ashi bull flag just looks really, really nice. I mean, you can, you can see that we do, we are just putting in green candles. These are dojis, so I mean... You know, it is quite iffy, but in the mid to short term, I mean, this coin looks very good. I, Once again, I do want to see what's going to be happening for the decision time uh, before I make an up, before, you know, I, I enter along on this. Um, one more cause for concern is a lot of selling volume coming in on the monthly. And, you know, also we haven't even had our first green candle come in on the monthly. So um, there, there is a lot of volume on the regular candles. Uh, I, I'd say this volume is a lot more significant than what we see on the Hayakan Ashi, so I would pay attention to the volume on like the daily to see if we can get a breakout. But you know, do bear in mind in the macro term, we we really haven't changed you know too much for for trends. We are still very much below you know our all-time high of 42p. We have been you know very much rugged and bled out since then. So uh, do be cautious if you're holding this for the long term. I personally am not a fan of AXS or SLP simply because if you if you read the white paper, which I know a lot of you won't do, a lot of you will just be like, oh, I see a, a funny meme coin, SLP, a AXS, let me FOMO in without even reading the white paper. But go read the white paper, go read what AXS and SLP is, go read about the inflationary terms uh, or, or how much inflation goes behind SLP. Um, I've had someone say to me before, oh, SLP will rise uh, when more buyers come into the market and when more people are using the app, when more people are, you know, joining the game and the ecosystem. But that is not unfortunately how it works. Uh, the only thing that would make the price go up is if more people are buying and, you know, not selling the SLP token. SLP is extremely inflationary. Uh, it inflates a lot more uh, than the value that new uh, customers come and bring in. So for example, if I joined at the SLP or AXS community right now, and I provided $1 worth of value to the community, uh, they would be basically printing like $1.50 or $2 worth of SLP uh, in order to kind of accommodate for me playing that game. So it is heavily inflationary, at least at the moment. I haven't seen any change to that. So that is why I'm saying, you know, this you, you can definitely make insane gains on this in the short term. But for me, this is not a long term hold. This is a quick flip if we do break out of the bull flag. So yeah, I mean, that's all I really want to tell you about today. Uh, we are still in this bull flag. If we do get a breakout, you know, back test around about 277 and break off to the races, then I will be spot accumulating some of this. And I will also see if there's any leverage trading exchanges where you can long this. So yeah, that's all I'm seeing for SLP right now. Once again, none of this is financial advice. It is just my opinion on the market and you should always do what's best for you. Peace.